Welcome to class. I'm Miss Faust. Please make sure, yes, yes, please make sure you have paper available. Oh, I see you do. And a pen or a pencil. Good job. Okay, we are so ready. Yes, you will need to copy what's on the board behind me. It is your assignment. So if you follow me over to the board, I can go over the assignment with you. Oh, by the way, it's a research project. But, but, hold on. It's just one day. I think you'll find it enjoyable. Follow me. Come on over. Come on over. Here is the assignment. Research project. I call it a personality because it is about an individual. It's about a person. Okay? Remember we talked about the Harlem Renaissance? Yes, that literary slash historical movement that was really important in the United States back in the late um, 19 teens. Okay, starting around 1918, going to mid-1930s, about 1935, but truly in the 1920s. It truly hit the 1920s. Okay, and as I said, it really, really was an important, important, one of those days, an important movement. Okay, and so yes, your research project has something to do with the Harlem Renaissance. All right, so this is what I need you to do. Make sure you are copying this down. Good job. I need you to research one of the following, right here, famous people connected to the Harlem Renaissance. Okay. I mentioned when I talked about the Harlem Renaissance, I mentioned, for instance, Billie Holiday, okay. Bessie Smith, Cap Calloway, just examples. And of course, someone like Langston Hughes and our poets, Randall and Hayden, they were somewhat connected, uh, definitely in Langston Hughes, connected um, to the Harlem Renaissance. So here we have a list, and this is a really a, sh a very short list. There are so many more famous people that are connected to the Harlem Renaissance, okay? So don't think, oh, that's it? No, no, there are many, many more out there. So you've got a list here. I've got them categorized, okay? We've got writers, the performers slash entertainers, which could be acting, musicians slash composers, which could include uh, those who sing. Okay, does that make sense? So what I need you to do is definitely, please make sure, make sure, make sure you copy down this list. Okay, um, that way you have the names and you don't have to refer back to the video and all that. You've got all the names and you can make your choice. You might pick one and go, ah, I don't like that one, and pick another one. Ooh, this is a good one. Okay, does that make sense? So yes, you need to choose one. So let's go through this list. Under the list of writers, we have someone named Zora Neale Hurston. We have Claude McKay, County Colin, that is a man, and over here, sorry, I ran out of room, so to speak, right there, Jean Toomer. And so if you're thinking that's a woman, no, it's a man. It's a man's name. So we have two here that are men. Okay. Here under performers, entertainers, two big ones. I picked two of the big ones. Josephine Baker, definitely. I mean, she really was known in those days. And Paul Robeson, another fantastic, fantastic actor. Really great. Okay. And she definitely is in the category of actually entertained entertainer, performer, and eh, she could go back and forth. Then under musicians slash composers, I try to pick some big names, okay? We've got Louis Armstrong. Hopefully that name sounds familiar to you, okay? Count Bassey, okay, or I guess you could say Bassey. Billie Holiday, yes, indeed. Ethel Waters, another really well-known woman, Ethel Waters, Adelaide Hall, and then finally, Cap Calloway. So these are your choices, okay? Famous people who are connected to the Harlem Renaissance, okay? So again, your job is to pick one. Now, what do you do with that research? In this format, in other words, you could do bullet points. You can go like this. Huh? 
okay? I need you to, in this format, share biographical information about your person. Biographical. Obviously, I need to know who. Okay? So what I need you to do is, at the top of your paper, I want you to give me the name. For instance, Billie Holiday. I need to know the date. When was she born? When did she uh, pass away? Okay? What was she known for? What kinds of songs did she sing? Where did she perform? At the Cotton Club? Who were some of the people that she knew? Okay? Was she ever married? Did she have children? Um, did she ever get awards? Anything like that that has to do with that person. Biographical information. And preferably in... Try not to do a whole bullet point, one word, one word, oh, maybe two words. Try to do phrases, okay? Stick with phrases. You don't have to do sentences if you don't want to, but try to stay away from just doing one word, one word, one word. Awards. Okay. What do I do with awards? Does that make sense? And please make sure that I do have the per person's name. I don't want to have to sit there and guess. After three bullet points, I'm going, oh, I see you did Cap Calloway. That's great. Why didn't you just put his name at the top so I know what I'm looking at? Okay, so does that make sense? So we'll say name at top. Okay? Does that, does that make sense? The name at the top and then do the dates place the person born, passed away, okay, was the person ever overseas, performed overseas, you may have somebody here that did, okay, they might have performed overseas, sang in another country, France, for instance, or in England, or wherever, all right, important things, so that you actually learn about at least one person, specifically, okay, that has something to do with that important movement, again, a very important movement here in the United States. Please understand that. Okay. All right. In this format, biographical information, I want you to focus on the question, who is he, who is she? Yes, you could think of it as who was she, was he, who was she. I like to think of it as who is he. So who is Louis Armstrong? Who is Zora Neale Hurston, share with me. I want to learn what you learn. Okay. So again, if needs be, you may want to research two, three people, and then go. Yeah, I like this one better. Uh, this um, group of three. This is the one I really want. I really truly want to do Ethel Waters. Okay. So, the question: Who is he? Who is she? Do you have any questions about this assignment? And again, this is an assignment just for today. In a way, I want to wrap up with the Harlem Renaissance. We have a writer, two poets linked to the movement, and now somebody else. Okay, so you you get to research, you get to discover someone, and you get to share that information with. And then finally, I'd like you to answer this very important question. Do you enjoy eating pastries? This is sort of a fancy word for do you enjoy eating baked goods, such as a, a Danish, okay, a bear claw, okay, something fancy. Perhaps um, a Be um, Bavarian cream filled donut or whatever, that kind of, you know. Okay, so does that does does that make sense? Pastries is the more fancy word for baked goods. So do you enjoy eating pastries? Yes? No? You don't? Oh, that's too bad. You don't like long johns? You know, filled. Okay, those Bavarian cream donuts. They're filled sometimes. Oh, it's so tasty. No, no. Oh, but you do. Oh, it's great. Good stuff, isn't it? Okay. If you have any questions about today's assignment. You know how to reach me. Please contact me. If you need help, I'm here for that. Okay, so here's your assignment. Choose one of these wonderful people. And again, make sure you 
copy down all the names. Don't just go, oh, Josephine Baker, that sounds like a nice name. I'll just put that down. And then you research her and you go, well, I don't like that. And then you got to go back to the video. Okay. All right. So when you're done with that, it's like a little show and tell, so to speak, on paper. When you're done with, with that and answering that question, make sure you send it to me immediately. Namely one, yes today, got it. Okay, and I wish you a super, super, super fantastic day. Till next class session, bye-bye.